All right, guys, this is the uh, the new to us anyway, Polaris Ranger. It's definitely not new. It's a uh, it's an 08 model, but it's a Polaris Ranger 700 XP. And we got a pretty good deal on it. We bought it from somebody we kind of know. Uh, we kind of know the, the history of it, you know, who had it, what they did with it. It doesn't look like it's ever been, you know, beat up too bad or, you know, rode through the mud or, uh, you know, beat down, anything like that. It doesn't have a lift kit, any of that fancy stuff on it. it looks like it was just used as a kind of a yard slash farm tool, which is exactly what we're going to use it for. We're going to use it to haul kids around the land, haul uh, firewood, tools, put stuff in the bed. You see, we just got it. Um, I haven't even taken it off the trailer yet. Because I hadn't really had time to. It's got a few uh, areas of wear and tear. I think every truck, car, whatever, always wears out right there where people sit on it. Uh, you know, this is just like vinyl. It's not even glued down. I've actually already got a cover ordered um, from eBay. So that comes in. Um, just pop this up, unstaple it, wrap it, staple it back. This stuff's, you can feel it's kind of dry and brittle feeling. But anyway, the speedometer right there, a couple switches for uh, lights and four wheel drive, a glove box, all that stuff. This up here is a uh, faded. It used to look like that, I'm guessing. Kind of a mossy oak or real tree or, you know, whatever. Whatever camo pattern that is. I don't really see it written on here anywhere. But anyway, they all fade like that. Ours turned out to be kind of a bluish color. Um, some of them turned purple. Um, I'd rather have blue than purple, but at any rate. Like I said, it's got a few little spots, a little bit of rust uh, on the bumper right there, but you know, up under here, everything looks good. The previous owner put new bushings on the lower control arms. I don't know if you can really see that in there, but you know, everything looks pretty decent. So look at the back. He also put new, uh, new axle shafts in the back. So you can definitely see those new axle shafts. See, so he's put new bearings in, uh, wheel bearings, and the boots had torn on those, so he went ahead and put new boots on there. Don't judge how I strapped this down. Um, I thought I had a trailer hitch with a ball on it, but I did not. That's the one that was on there. But um, I didn't have one with a ball, so I just had to stick it in there, put the pin through. But this thing only weighs like 1,200 pounds, so, you know, it worked. You see like right here i say it's got two different spots to uh mount your shock right there for kind of a softer ride and you can put it up there for more of a stiffer ride get a little bit more height and it can maybe uh tote a little more in the bed um, so yeah there's the tailpipe the differential breather tube all that cool stuff yeah we are going to need yeah, that tail light's got a little bit missing. That tail light over there is actually the lens is all the way gone on it. But let me get back on the trailer. Oh, anyway. Yep. Bed pops up, the little gas shock right there works. But you can see down all in here. You know, doesn't have a whole lot of caked up mud or anything. A few little rust spots right there. But, you know, we live in Alabama, so it's not going to be too rusty because we don't salt the roads and stuff. Like you can tell, like, all this is still shiny and new. But, yeah, oh, there's the third seat belt. That's the little kid seat belt. It goes in the middle. But anyway. Yeah. Go over there and push that down. Anyway, the reason we got the Ranger is because A, we found it from somebody we knew, and B, uh, got a good deal and it's got three seats. Like I said, this is the, there's a little buckle for the middle seat, and here's the 
we had it up looking at the motor when we bought it. So there's the, you know, I can sit one. My wife can sit there. I can sit there. We can put the biggest kid there and the little kid can ride in the lap or, you know, anything like that. We're not going to go too fast with both kids in there. Oh, there's some stuff in there. That's pretty neat. Oh, those are the uh, wheel bearings for the front. He threw those in there. But, um, yeah. All the other models that we found, um, not models of Ranger, but models of side-by-side, -side, were kind of like a Rhino, like a Yamaha Rhino. Either that or like the uh, the Chinese knockoff Rhino, like the Massimo or the Axis, which would have been fine. Um, they're a little bit narrower, I think, and they don't have that middle seat because the all those rhino based models have the motor right there it's got like a hump it's got more sporty seat and it's got doors and stuff i think it's made to be more of a blend between sport and utility this one's pretty much just utility which is perfect for us like i said we're just gonna ride around the land with it haul kids and haul stuff around it's gonna need new headlights there's headlight lenses those look terrible that's got a little but either way Probably gonna put some uh, some little pod lights or LEDs or something up there. Put a winch right there, maybe. Uh, definitely, windshield might be in the near future, also, because we rode it the other day on test drove it, and it was cold, buddy. That wind coming in through here, uh, blowing in your face and everything, cold. But yeah, first thing is that seat cover, because that foam will get wet, and it's like a sponge; it'll just stay wet forever. It seems like. But anyway, yeah, seat cover, maybe a windshield. I gotta tighten up. That stuff right there is loose. That's what was vibrating when I test drove it. I need to get new hardware. Look a little rusty. A little loose. Anyway, that's easy stuff to fix. But I wasn't expecting it to be like super, super fancy or anything, because uh, you know it's a it's a tool and we got a pretty good deal on it.